Welcome back to our camper van conversion. In this episode, we're going to be respraying the van with satin green military paint, completely transforming it from a knackered looking work van to an adventure camper. We started off with a disaster, but some drastic action saved the paint job, so stick around to see the final results. In the last video we sprayed all of the black parts on the van which was the wheels and the lower parts of the body and we're starting off the spray job with the less glamorous side of things. Firstly there were a few parts to remove like the wing mirrors. These just needed an internal trim to be removed and then the mirror unbolts from the inside. With those removed it was time to mask up all the parts of the van that we didn't want green. All the black parts we previously sprayed along with the windows, trims, lights, bumpers and door handles. Once it was all masked up I went around using paint prep wipes to give the bodywork a final clean and this is where our near disaster begins. I started spraying the van with the spray gun but for some reason the paint wasn't adhering properly with lots of little fish eyes appearing. This is usually from grease or silicon being present on the surface of the van but I'd wiped everything down with these specific paint prep wipes. Well it turned out after a little bit of testing that these wipes were actually reacting with the paint. With the paint applied I had two options, I could either let it dry and then sand it back down or take drastic action and wipe all the paint off using some thinners. So I obviously didn't take the sensible route and started to wipe all the paint off of the van. As you can see this did not look pretty at first but eventually I got all of the spray off and the surface clean again. The problem was I'd used these wipes all over the van so I knew the whole surface of the van was going to react like this so I decided to wipe the whole van down with thinners to make sure all of the residue that had been left by these wipes was removed. Not really what you're expecting when you start a spray job but we got past it. It was slightly more smooth sailing from then onwards building up coats of the satin green military paint.
After a few coats of spray paint, it was time for everyone's favourite part, peeling off the masking tape.
With that all done, the spray job was pretty much complete. I sprayed the front Renault badge in satin black just with a rattle can and then I painted the inner wheel arches because these were still silver so I just sprayed those black. There's still a few steps to go on the exterior with the bumper needing to be repaired and painted and the trims all restored and replaced but it's starting to look pretty good now. In the next video I'll be restoring all of the faded black plastics and replacing those so make sure you look out for that one on Monday. As always thank you for watching, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.